Hello, 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 my dear student. This week we will be covering wave properties. The objectives of this lesson is to develop and use mathematical representation to support a claim about the properties of mechanical waves. Support claims about the relationship among the frequency, wavelength, and speed of mechanical waves. Use evidence to make claims about the properties of mechanical waves. Predict the effect that an increase in the frequency has on the wavelength of mechanical wave, given that the speed stays the same. So the, to answer that, an increase in frequency results in a short wavelength when speed is constant. What is mechanical wave? A mechanical wave is any wave that results from the oscillation of matter. Matter that uh, a wave is propagated through is called the medium. <clears throat> Now, what is the medium in this picture here in front of you? The rope. How do you think it is possible for a mechanical wave to transport energy from one point to another without transporting the matter from point to point? The energy from the wave is transmitted along the rope but the ends of the rope never leave the athlete's hand. We will discuss in details all of that. Now, wave speed, we're discussing the properties of a wave. The speed of a wave is given by the equation B is equal to lambda over T, or V equals F times lambda. What is lambda? Lambda is wave length. T is for period or time, F is for the frequency. Now, there are two ways to represent a wave graphically. This is the first way, and this is the second way. This distance graph and the time graph. So we can use these two types of graphs to represent a wave. First type of waves is what? Transverse waves. You already took that before, but we're discussing it again. The image represents the movement of Earth's surface during an earthquake. Now, let's see here. In transverse mechanical wave, the motion of the medium is perpendicular to the direction of the wave. On the other hand, we will talk about speed of waves on Ropes. A student wiggles the end of rope to create a wave. What determines the frequency and period of the wave? You can guess that it's the rate at which the student moves his or her hand up and down. Now, what is the speed of a wave? The equation that we'll be using is equal to radical uh, tension in the rope, F tension, divided by mass per unit length of the rope. Speed, wave speed at an interface. The speed of a wave in shallow water depends approximately on the depth of the water and the acceleration due to gravity. Uh, so V is approximately equals to G, which is the acceleration due to gravity and the depth of water multiplied by each other and the square root of that. We'll discuss that in details later in our lesson. Now we'll talk about longitudinal wave. Longitudinal wave is made up of a series of uh, rarefactions and compression corresponds to trough and uh, compression. Sonar uses the echo from sound wave to detect object under Water, this type is a longitudinal wave. And finally, we will learn how to model waves. Well, wave motion can be modeled using graphs and described using math function. It is resembled by the sine function 
and in the distance graph and in the time graph. We will go through all of that in details. I hope you understand this lesson as you have understood all the lessons before. Have a nice day.